Did you know that swelling happens because of a specific scientific process? And knowing that process, we can actually help to treat or decrease swelling. <clears throat> so what causes swelling itself? Well, typically, and in surgery, we have a general traumatic reaction, whether that be liposuction or actually physically cutting something. But we're going to focus on lipo today because that creates some of the most common swelling. And we refer to swelling after surgery as something called interstitial edema. And that basically means between cells, we get some fluid. So our normal inflammatory cells, our white blood cells, will actually make inflammatory markers or inflammatory chemicals. And those inflammatory chemicals actually make our veins and lymph channels a little bit more leaky. Whereas they normally are moving fluid out of our tissue, actually because they open up and they're leaky, they actually start to let fluid into the tissue. And that's what these little purple dots are. And this extra fluid is that interstitial swelling or that interstitial edema. Because the spaces are so tight, it's not like a bag of fluid or like a water balloon, but it does, it gets firmer, it gets harder because there's more volume everywhere around your normal tissues. And that itself is interstitial edema. So how can we treat it? Well, essentially all the treatments are going to try to get that fluid to go back into these vessels that naturally leaked it out. Number one, compression. And we can do that via like a Spanx or a Faha or a medical compression garment. And that's helping to drive this fluid by putting pressure back into these vessels, mainly the lymphatic channels. Number two, massage. A light touch pressure massage, again, will increase our pressure and help to drive this fluid back into these lymphatic channels. Number three, anti-inflammatory medications. So sometimes we use things like Celebrex or Tylenol or uh, Gabapentin, and all those things are to decrease the neural inputs or the inflammatory inputs that will ultimately decrease these inflammatory markers and these substances that lead to the increased swelling. And so we do that by giving you very specific medications. Again, typically non steroidals etc. But those are the top three ways that we can decrease swelling, and this is how the science is swelling and why it occurs after surgery.